it's time for another Visual Studio Code release. Let's check out some of the highlights in it because I can't play guitar. We all want to keep our code clean, and part of that effort is removing anything you're not using. VS Code helps with this by drawing your attention to any unused imports or variables in your code. You'll see the code grayed out indicating it's not required and can be removed. Sometimes while organizing your code, you may find you need to rename files or move them to clean up the project. This can be a bit of a burden because of references you have to those files in your code. VS Code now takes care of this for you by recognizing these changes of reference files and prompting you with an option to automatically update them in code. Once you confirm to update the imports, all files referencing the one that was moved or renamed will be modified accordingly. When refactoring code, you may find yourself wanting to extract pieces from one file into its own new file. VS Code has you covered through functionality built into it. Bring up the refactor option by right-clicking on a class, function, or variable name and choose the Move to New File option. You can also use the keyboard shortcut of Control shift r on Windows or Command shift r on Mac for quicker access. While debugging your app in VS Code, you'll notice the Debug Toolbar floats at the top of the window. A new option that's currently in preview and is available through Settings allows us to dock the toolbar in the Debug view. This moves the toolbar into a dedicated space away from the files you have open. Give it a shot and let the team know any feedback you may have on it. VS Code extensions can now be wired up through the activity bar for easier viewing. Examples of extensions doing this are Docker and Azure, in which each encapsulates their functionality into a separate view, making an easier way of working within them. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to share it and like it. As always, happy coding, everyone, and see you next time.